this to go for the ingredients? Um, yes, so we have cocoa powder. Yeah. Um, we have uh, chocolate whey protein. So there's a little, there's a couple extra scoops in there. So that's about 50 grams of protein. Um, some toasted coconut chips and some desiccated coconut. Uh, we have some pitted dates, which has just been soaked in a little bit of hot water. Yeah. Um, some exanthem gum, which is going to use to thicken. Uh, a little bit of almond butter and some sativa. Excellent. Cool. Perfect. Can you do that one more? Sorry, because the baking that was, was in front of everything. Oh, okay. So how, how how will you do it? Do you just kind of like chop it? I'll chop it if I can. Like, and and yeah, then, just talk and we'll go through it as we go. Okay, cool. Um, Sorry, you want to do that again? Yeah. It's the last one. Yeah, because, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, today we are going to make a chocolate protein ball. Right, so we have some cocoa powder here. Yeah. Uh, we have some standard chocolate whey protein. Um, some sweetened coconut chips, some desiccated coconut, and some pitted grapes, which I've just soaked in a little bit of hot water. Uh, sativa, which is just going to use for sweetened, uh, to sweeten the whole mix. Yeah. Um, almond butter, which again, uh, we're going to use to combine it all. And we have some exanthem gum here. Amazing. Now, exanthem gum, probably not a lot of people know about. Um, in a nutshell, it's just a binding agent. Cool, you can use corn. Yeah, instead of... You can use cornstarch yeah. at home. Um, we got some. Look, good. we got some pretty dry ingredients here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you'll find if you can just blend all that up, it'll just be chalky, kind of like sand. Um, the almond butter here and the sativa is just to sort of combine it all. Yeah. Cool. Um, the way forward with activating the sativa, uh, the exanthin gum. Sorry. Uh, for this amount, I've just gotten one tablespoon to about half a cup of hot water, okay, yeah. um, which I've just boiled in the mixer here, uh, in, the, in the kettle, yep. um, and that just makes it, and then I just whisk that together. Um, right, so let's get onto it. So, in a nutshell, so that way it's gonna go here. So again, once you've got all the ingredients laid out, it's yeah. all pretty easy. So, start with coconut chips. Just gonna run, Knife over it. Now down the way you watch. Now it's down. It's okay to just kind of break them up a little bit. You don't want them too fine because, as you can see, you've got cocoa powder, the chocolate powder, uh, the chocolate whey, and the desiccated, which is all kind of a crumb anyway. So just to give a bit of texture. So just run a knife over that. Um, again, I've just got some dried uh, pitted dates. Yeah. Pitted. Don't forget pitted. <laughs> just. That's a pain. That is an absolute pain in the ass. Don't get the wrong. Don't get the wrong one. So don't blame us if you get the wrong. So again, I'm just going to chop these up quite roughly. Keep these nice and coarse as well, uh, because we want a bit of texture in it all. Cool. So into the bowl there. Beautiful. Right now. Spin. So I'm going to place one tablespoon of the example gum. Uh, I'm going to put this down first. The, the protein powder and the cocoa powder, of course. Once you have the ingredients, that's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. And pretty again, it's all like a guideline. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll give you the recipe, of course, but yeah. like you can take out the dates, you can put macadamia in, yeah, yeah. you can take out the coconut chips, you we'll can put, put the rough calories as well. What is that? And you, you can, can put the almonds in yeah. as well. Yeah. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the exanthin gum in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to put the exanthin gum kind of become like a, almost like sand. Yeah. Fix all that first, and then at the last minute, again, just so we have a bit of consistency. Sure. You can get your hands dirty here, mate. 
hands dirty. So my hands stay nice and clean. Right, so we are going to put a spoon back. Just a half tablespoon. Mm -hmm. And then one nice heat tablespoon of almond butter. Delicious. Right, mix those with your hands, my man. No method. No method. Just bring it all together. Just all those, Sean. Hey? Just all those. It'll be quite crumbly. And again, you can just adjust it if it depending on how dry you depending on how dry your ingredients are. If you think it hasn't come together as nice as you would, yeah, I'm gonna put just one more just a little bit more almond butter in there. You're trying to get it just to come together. Just bring it together. Then. A bit more, is that right? Perfect. No, yeah. perfect. Smells here. Yeah. Um, and then from now, you can, if you have the time. Lick your fingers. You can definitely lick your fingers. If you, do, <laughs> if, you, if you do have the time now, you can yeah. stand there and you can make little uh, protein okay. balls like this. Yeah. And again, I'm sure you've probably seen them in the shops. So you can cool. just roll them in yeah. a little bit more yeah. desiccated coconut or you can just leave them plain. Yeah. Um, if you don't have the time, then we just make it into, I yeah. uh, will make it into a log. And then we can just cut little slabs, like cookie, like raw, like basically raw cookie dough. Perfect snack, breakfast, coffee. Perfect snack. And protein, more protein to you. And then that is just basically, <laughs> or essentially just raw cooking, raw cookie dough. So, into the fridge. Okay. And of course, you can eat that straight away. Um, no cooking involved. This is. So, how long does it take normally in the fridge? Oh, that'll take with the almond butter in there, probably 15 minutes. Wow. But again, like, of course. That is something that you can eat straight away, yeah. um, or you can just have it in the fridge. And then, if you're just looking for a cheapy snack, then you can just cut little discs like this. And then, okay, excellent. Because I think a lot of the protein bars, the ones in the shop, they're more like fat in it. It's not much protein. Of course, of course. And again, it's just fat balls. So it's like. And again, you can adjust that however, yeah, 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 yeah. however you want. You can put more protein powder. That's obviously going to make the, the mix just a little bit uh, drier. Yeah, 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 then you yeah. just adjust it. You can put a little bit of water in there. You can put a little bit more almond butter. Yeah. You can use peanut butter. Uh, you can just make it your own, yeah, I yeah, suppose. Yeah. But that's essentially what you get in the shops. And Amazing. it took us five minutes. This is good try. <laughs> yes, please. So, quick. You taste it? Thank you. Yeah. Mm, so good. Okay. That's amazing. Such a good recipe, like for people. It's so yeah, real. I mean, like you can. I suppose anybody that's on a health kick or yeah. watching the calories and yeah, stuff, yeah. like you can do the same thing, but like a chocolate brownie or mm. even yeah. like protein cookies or something. You kind of just pull, pull a little bit of flour, yeah. pull a little bit of flour. I can make a chocolate brownie for you right now. We just. Yeah. Take 50% of the flour out of yeah, it, yeah, yeah. put protein powder, mm. man, you know, probably got 50% 50, 50 of the sugar yeah, out. Yeah. Add that. Yeah. Um, mm. You like that? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Where do you get this um, example done? Uh, Woolworths. Woolworths. So in the healthy section rather than yeah, that. Yeah, mm. mm -hmm. So, we, I've used it a lot in, in restaurants over my time. I actually, the, my girlfriend had bought that from Woolworths. And when she was telling me about the recipe, I was like, exactly, I'm really, like, we, we get that from, like, a specialty pastry supply in the restaurant. I, I didn't actually get it in there. Okay, and does that just make it all, like, stick together? Yes, oh, it's just, it's literally just a binding agent. So it would. So you can, uh, once it's activated with hot water and kind of whisked. Mm -hmm. It's kind um, of a jelly. Kind of it, yeah, exactly. So yeah. you can do the exact same, I don't know if you've ever use sort of like made like a corn flour slurry yep. mm -hmm. same thing if you have corn flour mm -hmm. and just cold water and you bring that up bring that to the boil mm -hmm. 
it'll essentially thicken like that. It'll become yeah. like a clear mm -hmm. lipid. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose it's just like a gluten-free option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 Brilliant. So I do that stuff. I always know. Oh, Vegetable no. gum. Okay. So that's the first one. You can tell your client needs a few hours of coffee. They'll be full for a few hours. Some fruit as well. Perfect. That's it. Part of dessert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like we go through at the moment. We go through so much grapes. Like frozen grapes is one of my absolute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's one of my absolute go like go to snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just because it kind of satisfies that that like that, that peaking. Or if you're yeah. watching a movie at night instead of getting a bag of popcorn yeah, or. Yeah. or yeah, like a bag. Yeah, we do a frozen berries. Frozen berries. Yeah. 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 It's a nice actually. would be good though. Yeah. I've heard that. I'm not used to that. I'm very. Yeah, I've It's only actually this year that I've gotten into. Ever since I bought like a, like a Nutribullet that I've gotten into, like yeah, frozen yeah. blueberries and, and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And it's actually amazing. It's a million bucks. 